I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Bremerton High School. It's Friday the 13th, 2009. I'm Chelsea. And I'm Caroline. There's a three-day weekend coming up, but lots of fun until then. You're watching The Bulletin. Friday, February 13th, girls basketball with Port Townsend away JV at 5 and varsity 7 p.m. Boys swimming districts. Saturday, February 14th, not only is it Valentine's Day, but we also have a regional wrestling tournament, 9.30 a.m. Staff and students. Let's go to Tommy with our sports. Thanks, guys. And in sports, last night was a great night in Bremerton basketball history. The Knights came up know, right? court with a three-point rimout shot at the Douglas for the tie. The Bremerton High School honored one of their own. Number 24, Marvin Williams, Yvonne Hand, who became the Aww. first Bremerton professional athlete to have retired his number. And tomorrow, the Knight wrestlers continue their quest for the invite to the 3A state tournament next week. Bremerton plays host of the 3A regional championship tournament tomorrow. Action starts around 9.30 in Bremerton as five wrestlers competing. Ryan Anderson and Bobby Dingle, Cody King and Annie Bellevue, and the district champion from last week, Andreas Garcia, who only has one loss on the season. Come out and support the Knights, and look how good that court looks with those wrestling mats on there, Mr. Lindbergh. She says, Thanks, she guys, says back dare to not to swear. Take camera two. Dare not to swear. It's just a part of being acting cultivated by Vivian BHS student. Today we celebrate sing, singer, songwriter, and peace activist Bob Marley, born on February 6, 1945 in Jamaica. Bob Marley introduced reggae music to the world and remains one of its most beloved artists to this day. The son of a black teenage mother and a much older, later abs white absent father, he spent his early years in the rural village known as Nine Miles in the parish of St. Anne. Playing in a number of bands in his youth, Marley gained popularity in the 1970s with his band, The Whalers. After a short visit to the States, Marley became interested in the teachings of Marcus Garvey and the Rastafarian religion, prompting him to grow out his hair into dreadlocks. He worked relentlessly in, to fight for peace and freedom through his music. In the summer of 1977, doctors found an onset of cancer on Marley's toe. Because of Rastafarian belief, the whole body, the body must be whole, he refused amputation to remove the cancerous tumor. He continued to perform. His final concert was September 23, 1980 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Nearly a year later, he would lose his battle with cancer. He passed away May 11, 1981. Hey Chelsea, are you doing anything for Valentine's Day? I might go to a movie. Let's see what's going on here. Hi, I'm Heather Dubrawl. And I'm Lisa. And we're here to tell you about the four movies that will be featured at Olympic Cinemas located on Rydell Road. Friday the 13th. Despite the many warnings about staying out of Crystal Lake, a group of teenagers reopen the supernatural camp. The teenagers will soon realize that they are not as witty as they thought they were. This feature is rated R with a runtime of 1 hour and 36 minutes. Pink Panther 2. In this sequel, the not-so-smooth Inspector Clouseau teams up with Chief, Chief Inspector Jafis to match their wits. While Clouseau is working in France, legendary treasures are stolen. Chief Dreyfus is forced to place Clouseau in a team of equally defective international detectives to solve this case. This feature is rated PG-13, PG runtime of 1 hour and 32 minutes. Confessions of a Shopaholic. Becky Blumut is a shopaholic. She can't seem to stop spending her money. When she runs out of money to spend, she finds other methods to get what she wants. Unfortunately, her plans backfire on her. This feature is rated PG with a runtime of 1 hour and 52 minutes. He's just not that into you. A group of people find themselves interconnected, the men trying to figure out the women out. The women trying to figure out the men out. Both groups using subscript to figure out the intention of the opposite sex. This feature is rated PG-13, runtime of two hours and nine minutes. 
Lady Knights Fast Pitch. There will be an open gym next Wednesday, the 18th, and the following Wednesday, the 25th, at Bremerton Junior High Gym, 2.30 to 4.30. The season is getting close, and it's time to get the arms in shape and bats moving. Tryouts begin March 2nd through 4th, so get your sports packets in and the physicals done. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. You may have missed out on a very special delivery of silk rose to your special someone during first period today, but you can still pop into room 111 and purchase roses, cards, and chocolates to give to your sweetie or friend. Today is the last day the roses will be on sale. Find an FCCLA member with roses to drop into or drop into room 111 with $2 to get your roses and chocolate. Have a happy Valentine's Day. GHC, what is it? It's coming in two Fridays. You know you want some. Also, Sweetheart's Roll tickets are on sale now. The dance is Saturday, February 21st from 8 to 11. Tickets are $6 with ASB and $8 without ASB. All tickets will be $10 at the door. We have a great photo backdrop and a GJ, so you really want to attend this dance. Buy tickets at the finance window at both lunches. Buy your matchmaker results during lunches. It's just $3. Attention all seniors, until February 28th, all senior sweatshirts will include free name personalization. On March 1st, there will be an added $5 fee, so hurry and get yours now, Tuesdays and Thursdays during the lunch in the Commons. AP students, you can now sign up for the AP test. The price is $86. Pick up a registration form at the attendance window. If you receive free or reduced lunch, pick up an income verification sheet also. Both need to be turned in at the same time with payment. Any anime artist who would like to have their art included in the yearbook, please bring your submission to Miss Morgan in room 230 by today. Birthdays. And birthdays. Vince DeFlippies. Jack Hensley. Justin Standish. And Todd Brodick. Weekend birthdays. Lana Dodd. Cassie Enos. Christy Freiling. Tracy Dingle. Molly Mastel. Juvalent Perfection. Angelique White, Jalen Carpenter, Courtney Carpenter, and Tyrone Harden. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Daily Thought. This Daily Thought goes out to Tommy Hamburg. It's okay, Tommy. Your mama loves you. <laughs> <laughs> daily Joke? Well, that was the Daily Joke. <laughs> why was the tomato red? I don't know why. It saw the salad dressing. This day in history, in 1980, the 13th Winter Sports opened in Lake Placid, New York. That was your bulletin. <laughs> Have a nice day. Have a good weekend, too.